Thank you for tuning in. To stay in touch with us, get your questions answered, and connect with the community, join our Discord channel. Link is in the video description. Speak soon. Hi everyone, I'm Calvin from Crypto.com Chain Team. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how you can set up a Crypto.com Chain full node connecting to our latest Crossit testnet on your machines. So, let's get started. The first thing you can do is to go to our technical documentation site, which is on chain.crypto.com slash docs. Once you enter the site, click get start. You can run Nook uh, by joining the Crossit testnet, or you can also build a Nook running as a devnet for some development purpose. So we'll join the testnet this time. Here you will see there's a list of instructions for you to set up your node. Right now, we support macOS, Windows, and Linux. The general steps are very similar, except like for the first step, you have to download the correct binaries matching your operating systems. Since I'm running a Linux here, so I will follow along the guide using the Linux instructions. So the first step is you have to download the release binaries from our GitHub. So as you can see, like this command, um, the binary is targeting for Linux machines. So I'll download the GC file, wait for it. After I have downloaded, I can unpack the GC. Inside this GC file, there's the binary as well as some readme, license, and change log. If you are running on a Mac OS, you will also have another option by using the homebrew to install our chain main D binary. So after you have downloaded and installed the binary, the next thing you can do is to initialize a node. You can do so by running this command. The moniker is the ID of your node. When you connect to the crypto.com chain testnet, this is how other people can see your node, uh, the ID of your node. So I will use my node this time and provide with the chain ID. So you can see here, you can see here, I have um, a Genesis um, template that is created by uh, when I do the initialization. But since I'm connecting to the testnet, so I won't use this genesis, but instead I will download our testnet genesis file. The genesis file is available on our GitHub as well. So you can run this command and download the genesis. So one thing to note is, as you can see, uh, we are downloading the file to this directory. This directory is actually the default path uh, of uh, the Chainmain D uh, working di um, data directory. So when you want to run the init command, it will create this folder for you. After you have downloaded the Genesis, one good practice is to also verify the checksum of it matches. So you can run this command and you will see an OK if the file is uh, intact and correct. Next, I will do some uh, configuration of my node so that it's ready to be syn to synchronize with the testnet. The first command I run will be to update the minimum gas price to avoid transaction set spamming. The second one will configure my node with uh, the seats and a create empty blocks in the form. Now the seeds is um, some of the nodes you will connect at the beginning to synchronize. And to create empty blocks uh, in default uh, controls when there's no transaction, how long will uh, an empty block be generated? So at this point, we already have a node set up and it is ready to synchronize with the testnet. But before we start the node, there's a one more option I want to introduce to you which is the stacing. 
um, staging is a way for you to uh, synchronize your node uh, real quick. It does so by uh, downloading the snapshot of uh, the block data from other nodes up to a trust height you set by you. Uh, so since you're downloading the snapshot of it, instead of like download synchronizing like blocks by blocks, so it will uh, be very quick. But that's one trade-off. Because you're downloading the snapshot at, to the tr trust height, you will not be able to curate back the histories of the uh, I mean the histories of those blocks before the trust height. So if you're setting up a node and you expect to curate some of the past histories, uh, it would be, be better for you not to enable the staging. But in this demonstration, I will enable that so that I can show you how quick it can be. Um, here, we'll uh, run some, uh, this script will query the latest height from our public full node, as well as the hash of it. And then we'll enable the staging by setting this height to be the trust height. Uh, this script assumes you have JQ, which is a JSON um, uh, parsing library. But uh, if you're uh, not using that, you can also actually do go to our full node, uh, like query the height and hash, and set it manually to the configuration. That is also fine. So here I already have the JQ. On, uh, what I would do is run this one to get the height and hash, and as well as like update the configuration of it to enable staging. Okay, now I'm all good. I have set up the node. Uh, my node is configured to be ready to synchronize with the testnet. I have also enabled staging, so I can now start the node. As you can see, um, I start. I have start the service, and the, it is common for you to see some network error because it will be trying to connect to different nodes, and some of them may be unreachable. Another thing you can notice is uh, it's the node already uh, discovered the snapshot and is downloading that, and in fact, like uh, it has already downloaded the snapshot and it starts synchronizing. One thing you can see here is that it starts synchronizing from this. Uh, 500,000 something uh, blocks, which means um, because like we have downloaded the snapshot uh, up to the trust height, right? So all the blocks before that is all in the snapshot, and we can start synchronizing from this block and afterwards. So that's why I say like if you enable the staging, it will gives you a, a real quick like bootstrapping the whole node, and you can already start using that. Okay, so now we have a node running. There's still um, one problem. So right now I'm running the uh, Chainming D program on our shell, on my shell. Uh, but I, uh, since it's running here, and I can't do much. Like I can't do other stuff. Uh, but of course, like I can open another terminal on doing so. But still, it's inconvenient, right? Because um, from time to time, uh, there may be some network instability and the program may, may fail or like uh, exceed and then you have to check from time to time to see if the block is still, syn is still synchronizing or you have to restart it again so this is quite reliable especially when you're trying to set up wetted data you don't like want to check it from time to time to see if it's still running and you expect it to like restart by itself so we have considered that and we have um, provided a way for you to create a system file and you can put the uh, uh, node server as a uh, uh, system service, like running it in the background without uh, any interruption. So first of all, I will uh, start my node, and I will go to our chain repository, and I will show you how you can use the script to create the service file. So first, let's give clone our repos repository. And then we can run the script networks create service. Now, one thing to note here is like uh, to run this shell script, it assumes you you have put the uh, chainming the binary uh, directory into your path. So, for example, here you see I have already put 
the uh, directory demo to the path environment. So this is what this shell script does is like it will recognize where the binary is and it will generate the service file for you. Once I have done this step, the only thing I do is only thing I need to do is to start the system service by using system control. And now the chainmail D is already running in the background. Of course, you may want to uh, verify it's running, so you can do so by using general control and query the log. So here you can see um, the program is running fine, it's um, synchronizing, and it's all good. So one good thing is that like since we are running it as a service right now, we can exit it, we can do all our stuff without afraid of interrupting or like um, having any problem of the programs. Also, we can check the system control for the status of this chain main D. Oh, sorry. Yes, so you can also see here it's uh, loaded, it's enabled, and uh, it's running good. So let me recap what I have, what I have showed you so far. So first of all, um, I uh, show you like you can go to our documentation site and then you can install a binaries based on your operating system. After that, you have to download your Genesis, uh, download our testnet Genesis, configure your node so that it's ready to be synchronized with the testnet. After that, I also introduced to you an extra option to enable the staging so that you can have a node ready to be uh, usable like real quick. And finally, I teach you like uh, how you can use system servers, which is available on Linux-based machines. Uh, so that you can put your servers in the background and you can do other stuff on your shop. So that's um, all this video is uh, about and I hope like you will uh, enjoy it and you will try it out setting up a note uh, with us. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. To stay in touch with us, get your questions answered and connect with the community. Join our Discord channel. Link is in the video description. Speak soon.